Hi everybody, San Bonani. Welcome to my channel, Kamalam Gundam Ledger. And on this channel, says Boge, I'm a reality show. It's a lime zan to business as a last of Kuluma, all my shows. I'm a for the school. I'm a celebrity's guy. I'm a YouTuber's. It's a lime zan. You guys, listen. If you are a newbie on this channel and you haven't subscribed, Ulinden Jengampel, there is a subscribe button. Lange zan. Can you put there's a John button? Lagia join as members. There's a thanks button if you want to. Uh, give a few rents to the channel and also you guys listen the way we appreciate some adverts okay and the way we appreciate when you watch the adverts yeah anyway you guys so today we're going to do the full review of uh of Fuzo, you guys listen my ningalama reviews sometimes i miss an episode or two <laughs> oh, it's super. Let's talk about Ofuzo. Uh, I think we're like in episode 10 now, you guys. And listen, I've okay. Number one, I love this family. I love this family. I love the idea of this show. I hope that they don't do this show too long, okay? They don't do too many seasons, okay? A season or two is enough of this uh, family because once they do too many uh, seasons, they get to a point where there isn't really a storyline to run and they have to be sort of creative to um to give us an inter uh, like interesting storylines and when they start doing that then it, it starts causing drama in the family and it starts causing divisions in the family tell me one family that has done a reality show and they have not had uh, real issues after they've done the show in terms of their relationships because i don't know any so it always causes you know some division to the family so i hope that they don't do this show too long okay that's one so you guys i've had some questions about living arrangements in this family because i thought uncle snati had his own house and then at some uh, at some point my and then i understood that he lives in the cottage but i thought that the wife didn't live at the cottage but now i feel like he is living at the cottage by um uh by the parents house i don't know you guys somehow there is something about their living arrangement when it comes to uh uncle Snatter. and also what he does also for a living what what, what is he doing okay i don't know Jablan Naigusuenzani, but i feel like he is doing something uncle Snatter, Ngati, there's something about him not really doing a lot when it comes to uh, earning a living i would like to just know more about that they are not telling us okay we know of course don't be may know uh we saw their own tv so we see a lot of the things that they're doing and and then all of them do music okay they, sometimes they perform with their father and all of that but besides that individually i think it would be interesting if they focused on telling us or showing us what they do individually okay so that's what i would like to see more of okay so guys there is a there is a thing with this family and car accidents i believe that one of the children's aunt Ombi did pass due to an accident okay and Untombe has talked about having accident car accidents herself uh Ovoisa is talking about having car accidents so he she just had another accident and she's talking about how tired she is to, um of having car accidents and it looks like they have car accidents a lot i wonder you guys what it means for this family honestly and uh he, he doesn't it doesn't sound like she's like a new driver so yeah you guys of course car accidents happen to everybody but at the same time if they happen all the time to and a, 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 like different um members of the family i don't know it does raise you know raise eyebrows we'll see what's happening with this family so if we also had an accident of course you know we also is the one that they are clear about the fact that she lives uh, at home with uh, her mom and dad and uh, so she is at home and they come just to support her to find out more about the accident apparently she was hit by a woman who didn't stop at this um at the stop sign okay and yeah i mean i i'm, I'm i guess it's you know we are grateful Luguti, she is okay but apparently the car was not uh, was uh, damaged a little bit so she had to go and do some uh, accident reports because of the car but yeah you guys there was like uh, just a simple scene i like how the family is so supportive of each other guys i think that's one thing i love about that family you know and so they ended up just praying uh for her and uh, that you guys so 
and then uh we also see Nati talking to a guy i think back to amos uh, because he, she, he is um trying to get some advice remember the family seem to be convinced because it's about time that Nati uh starts taking a position of being an elder in the church okay i don't know what that constitutes you guys what do you do as an elder in the church but they wanted to uh, take that position at the beginning of the season she, he was clear in saying that he doesn't feel like he's ready he doesn't feel like he wants to take that responsibility but i guess at the back of his mind he is considering because he's talking to amos who is also a pastor and so he's just getting advice on what to do apparently you know as on 21 the women start throwing themselves at you how do you deal with that and all of that okay and guys i can imagine with Nati, no no chabla from the time that they were young you guys that girls <laughs> just flock their way i imagine you guys and i imagine as well that it from what they've said Nati got married very early you know and how how much that was a struggle honestly to deal with the fact that you are married but not only are you a musician um and you have these famous parents but you are also at a church guys hey hey so i can imagine the combination you uh, you know fa being famous your parents are famous now it's on 2040 you are in leadership ha 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 be velelu pastor sandra shame okay so she was just getting advice you know and i guess i must say it's, it's not easy things like this uh that like that do happen so you have to be prepared when before you take on uh that responsibility okay and then we do get a scene with uh Uchablan, you guys who is uh, the last born uh Yagan Gobo, and even with him i was like i'm not the people that i'm clear about is uvisa lives with her parents at her uh, parents house Untombi has her own house with her husband and her kids. I'm not clear which is it her, his house or he's also at the parents. But when they are having dinner and whatever at the parents' house, he's uh, not there. There's usually Vuyiswa there. So I'm like, I'm not clear. Does he have his own uh, house? Because we, at the beginning of the season, they had said which, it's a rule Gangobo, that you don't move out of a home of a family home until you are married so i felt like okay then Uchablani lives with them but um he doesn't shoot a lot of the scenes with the parents which makes me feel like he is at his own house i don't know you guys i still need clarity there okay so he had been working on music because remember uh uncle Snatch, one thing that he wanted them to do was at least to consider and maybe uh, work on the idea of getting amaponi together let's just see if this idea could work of us getting amaponi back together people want it maybe it's something that we must do but he was very disappointed by the fact that the other siblings don't seem to want to do it or they're not serious about it even when he's planning our meetings for them to meet and sort of uh, talk about some ideas of the music that they could possibly work on there's always somebody that's not gonna show up somebody that sometimes nobody shows up so Javlan, i guess he's starting to feel guilty about it and he's feeling like maybe it's worth a consideration okay let me just see if we can do something and there's a song that he has written and he was just sharing that with his kids to say what do you think of this music i honestly feel like the concerns that they have when it comes to them uh, being relevant now with the kind of music that they were doing at the time i really feel like uh, it's it's valid the concern that they have is valid however i do feel like i wish that they had not taken a break from the group because we would just be used to them doing the music that they used to do or maybe they they would have um developed it more uh, and, and this is the music that they do and uh because now it's like if they go back to being mama i'm a point everybody expect them that they're going to do the music that they used to do back then but now they are grown and also times have changed so how how are they going to adjust themselves and that it's almost like they're going to be recreating a new group 
so i don't know you guys i wish that they had always remained a group and performed and uh, um, released music and now they're just continuing with that i don't know how it's gonna work but you know maybe it's worth a try because there's always gonna be people that would be interested to have them uh, perform i guess you know so he wanted the 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 kids to hear his music his brother's daughter and his daughter yeah so he was just um like basically singing the song that he had written on his own to see what, what do they feel about it and all of that uh, i guess it's a good uh, way to test it what is it going to be interesting enough for the for the younger generation you guys anyway I don't even know if their target should be younger generation because they are not young anymore and a lot of the people that used to be fans of that group are like in their late 30s 40s and you know and i feel like maybe that's not their target anymore <laughs> i'll take it maybe they maybe he should test the music with a different group okay and then another conversation you guys was Untombi no Sandra. Remember in the last episode, Untombi and San, uh, U -U -U Sandra and her husband, Kosnati, had gone out on a picnic. And this is what really made me even more interested in knowing what Kosnati went on for a living. Because he seemed to be having some sort of a struggle in terms of like where he is with his life. And I feel like he's the only one that is displaying that when it comes to all of the siblings. It almost seemed like he is not happy that he's not. It, it's like he's not happy with where he is with his life you know and uh, they're talking about the fact that they will be moving out of the family home which is what was like oh so this whole time they're staying at the cottage the parents cottage okay and there's nothing wrong with that you guys i mean you like it if your parents have space for you to go back to when maybe you are not at the place where you need to be in life you know if you have a, a big room at home that you can go back to and, and and try and work on your stuff to get back on your feet do it okay so they're talking about the fact that they want to move out to a uh, better and bigger place and all of that and of course Nazi had talked about how he felt unsupported when he was trying to go solo with his uh, music apparently he did try to do solo music earlier on when he was younger and his wife was not very supportive the family was not very supportive and he feels like usandra had it easy she had all the support because the family Yagango is very supportive, okay? They support everybody. Usandra is like a member of the family. She's like one of the siblings now. And I guess when she came to the family, they gave her just the, the same support that we see them give her now. So he has complaints about that because he feels like she had support from everybody, but he didn't have the support, okay? And I sort of felt like he was trying to blame his wife for him not being where he needed to be. So in this episode, Usanda is having a conversation with Ndombi, uh, trying to tell her, "Good time, Pilla, your brother." This is what basically he's saying. He, he seems to be blaming me for the things that he wasn't able to do because he feels like I did not support him in what he was trying to do. He says, "Mina, I've had it uh, easy." Okay. With all of the children that Usandra has had and all of the pregnancies that he, she has gone through and held her family down, this man thinks that she has had it easy. Like, hey, I have a daughter sometimes. Do they feel like we are super women with some uh, superpowers and when we are supporting them and <laughs> holding these families down, they just feel like, I this one, they're having it easy. So Ntombina was shocked by how can you say that? And they start talking about how things were like earlier on uh, when he was really like wilding with Amanto Mazane left and right. And Ntombi is telling this funny story how he found him with girls this one time. And you know, she wasn't happy about it and all of that. It sounds like with, with everything that Usandra is saying, you know, at the time she was pregnant, she's young, she's pregnant, she just moved in with the family and here is the husband busy with the girls okay it wasn't an easy time and she felt that if he does more like music like solo music it's gonna be worse i mean if we <laughs> without the solo uh music career then it was going to be worse so of course she, he, she wasn't supportive of that because she felt like i will then it's gonna get worse okay and don't be is feeling like unconsciousness is being unfair 
you know and she feels like it's that thing you every time you feel like your life is not where it's supposed to be you always want to find somebody to blame and i think usanda is like an easy target you know uh for ulo kuzana for uh uncle's not anyway guys we don't know sana they do get to call v just to find out how she is because she did have a car accident and they're also trying to do ama renovations for unom nom 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 being in ganigan tombi remember i play they still do have a daughter and uh and so they want to do something nice for her and renovate her room especially because they do say that uh she used to share the room with Linnell, so they just want to do something uh, dif uh, different in the room and something that would uplift her spirits as well okay and and then we also did see Uchablani. i guess it's still he's still on that journey of trying to uh, make sure that he changes the surname yomtana k to be for her to use the same name and he was calling the mother just to find out to see uh, is she still on board and she said yes and so they're trying to see what, what do the parents require so i guess it doesn't so that they can go ahead and change the child's surname from all that we hear you guys it sounds like they really do have a good relationship with the mother of his um, daughter and remember they're not together they've said that they're not together but it sounded like they really have you know a, an okay a parenting relationship or co-parenting uh, relationship okay and uh, okay yes you guys so that's what happened with uh Uchablan. i liked seeing that you guys i think it's great that um it's great to see they are able to um to come together to raise their child together because i think it's great every child would like to see their parents together okay they would love to see their parents together married in love with each other but if they are not at best they should get along just for the child and when they do i think it's healthy for umduana that is being raised by those parents anyway you guys they do end up calling the mother with uh her like the daughter and her Uchablani calling the mother because she wanted them to give her a call and she was talking about how much they, they look so alike anyway you guys i hope that at some point we do meet the mother but i guess she's not really part of the family like that because she's not married to the family but it would be great to meet uh, punky's mother on the show you know i it, it would honestly and uh you guys i i hope that moving forward they can just sit down and make the final decision when it comes to the maponi idea because chablan was also talking about uh possibly uh, letting the kids do amaponi a continuation of amaponi so they would their kids will be in the group and do the continuation of amaponi i don't know you guys what music would they do maskant or what <laughs> i don't know guys i think anything is possible you guys i think that the nice thing about um they don't know is that they are already you know well known so it wouldn't be like new people just coming up with this group that people know nothing about so they do have that advantage which already abantu bayabazi but i don't know you guys if it should work but i wish that they would just make a final decision also i don't know how it's gonna work because uncle snat and his wife are talking about possibly moving to cape town but then he is also talking about uh participating as an elder as on 20 which i assume everything is in job back so i don't know how is that, that is going to work because usandra seems to be convinced that the house that they are planning to get should be in cape town and i don't know if that's because um that's because her family maybe is in cape town i don't know but i do understand her you guys i feel like when you get married and you have your own family sometimes you want to move away from let's move away from your family and my family and just start our own thing it sounds to me like ever since they got married they have always been around family you know they've always been around family so sometimes you want to see your man being uh just you know a, a man away from his parents and see how you could do without um not that the support getting his support is a negative thing but you found the email in a woman who went to a connie about who a mother of the house the father of the house and see what how does that work without everybody you know and maybe usandra wants that anyway guys we will see if that happens thank you so much you guys for watching this video tell me what you think about this show right now are you still watching are you still enjoying the show what do you think about this family in the comment section also like the video before pumegiona share it with your friends with your family 
and even with strangers, minetanda kakon.